Hello to everybody joining SCAP 2020. My name is Javier Stilek and I would like to report on my work from the Factory of the Future section. My focus is a wireless power transfer of mobile production and transport equipment, which I'm researching within the scope of my dissertation at the Institute for Electrical Energy Conversion at the University of Stuttgart. In addition to my dissertation, I work for Bosch and develop systems for the use in the future factories. I'm working in the ARENA 2036, which is a flexible research platform for mobility and production of the future and it is located in Stuttgart 2. If the future production will have to be reconfigured more frequently than today due to volatile market influences and technical changes, there is a need for more convertibility. This convertibility is achieved, among other things, by mobile and universally applicable production equipment. Here, the novel autonomous guided vehicle can be an important component for the logistics of production in the factory of the future. I am looking forward to presenting the novel AGV for future logistics application on the upcoming slides. Let us start by answering the question first. What is a box AGV? The box AGV is a self-driving transport vehicle that is suitable for the transport of small load carriers weighing up to 50 kilograms. The small load carrier is a polypropylene box that is standardized according to VDA 4500 part 1 and is frequently used in the automotive industry. One of the features of the AGV presented here is that the drive and control units are built into the small load carrier itself. The fact that the AGV and the transported goods have the same form factor ensures a maximum of mechanical compatibility. This idea is not fundamentally new and was already adopted by Joost in the Emily project of the Fraunhofer Institute for Material Flow and Logistics 2017. The novelty of this AGV concept is its guidance options combined with the simplicity of its design. In fact, the AGV is designed entirely without self-navigation and safety technology. The intelligent floor takes over the navigation task and monitors the AGV for dynamically appearing obstacles. On the left side, an exploded view of the intelligent floor prototype 0.5 is shown and displays one square meter of the raised floor consisting of an aluminium supporting structure, the control and power supply unit mounted on it, and the functional panel element. It poses as a universal infrastructure platform for the convertible production. Due to its modular design, the panel configuration can be continuously adapted to operational requirements. At its current stage of development, the prototype version 0.5 offers a wireless electrical power supply of production equipment. Further, the platform includes a display system based on four individually controllable LED stripes. The LED are located on the top of the panel in a cross-shaped form. In addition, each panel has four load cells that can measure the current surface load of the panel. The combination of intelligent floor and cost-effective box AGV seems particularly promising for upgrading production facilities to become more convertible and flexible and for achieving higher levels of automation in good logistics. Therefore, we will take a closer look at the design of the box AGV and evaluate a simplified use case economically. The slide shows the box AGV prototype design where frame, driving and control components are built in a standardized VDA box. The first setup and commissioning was performed with ThingOS company. As it can be seen, the box AGV bases on a simple frame construction made of aluminium profiles to which four mechanum wheels are attached. Two opposite drive motors are connected each to one inverter, which receives his commands directly from the controller unit in real time. Actually, the box AGV has installed a camera for identifying the route, 
which is mounted centrally in the frame and connected to the controller via USB. By using a wireless power transfer system, the battery of the vehicle can be charged. The entire vehicle technique is embedded in a standard box number 6421 and offers, after its integration, still 50% transport volume in the box. In the next steps of development, the currently used aluminium supporting structure will be replaced by the loading bearing capacity of the box itself and the camera system for track detection by simpler LDR sensor array. Also, the currently implemented buffer battery will be replaced by a supercap. The box AGV is to receive its driving energy continuously via a dynamically adaptable inductive charging system. The controller will be reduced to the necessary performance so that at the end of the prototype development, the box AGV can be manufactured at the product cost price of less than 300 euros. The target manufacturing cost price for mass-produced box AGV should be in the range of 100 euros. The series design also takes into account an increased loading volume, which will provide about 75% of the original box volume. The next slide describes the novel navigation method of the box AGV, which can be used to solve logistic tasks in convertible production on the basis of the infrastructure platform intelligent floor better than with the existing systems. Basically, the navigation of a box AGV works similar to the navigation of a conventional AGV with optical guidance systems. The upper three pictures show practical examples of AGVs in use today which are guided by lines fixed to the floor. Due to its simplicity and robustness, the optical guidance systems is in principle a good system compared to the system's complexity of AGVs maneuvering freely in space. However, it has a major disadvantage that its track is fixed. The AGV cannot bypass obstacles on its track independently. Changes in route planning can only be achieved by physical changes to the track line. Likewise, the durability of glued-on lines in an industrial environment is rather low. With the help of the novel AGV concept, goods movements can be organized along dynamically controllable logistics routes. The visualization function using LED is ideal for guiding an AGV as shown on below standing photos. The inherently static process is made more flexible by the possibility of dynamic route modification, so that it fulfills the requirements of convertible production. In practice, it is not necessary to display the entire AGV route for track guidance. It is sufficient to include a single LED segment to guide the box AGV on the shop floor. The segment does not only determine the AGV driving direction, but also the driving speed through its dynamic visualization. Generally, the use of visible wavelengths is not mandatory. Infrared or ultraviolet wavelengths can also be used to communicate contactless to the box AGV. The next slide outlines the possible use of the box AGV in industrial intralogistic applications. On this slide, the left picture shows the production layout of an automotive parts manufacturer. The production of the parts is mainly done manually as well as the production logistics. Kneed's work examines the economic effects of introducing a milk run system in the material logistics and lists advantages of the implant milk run system compared to the manually operated logistics. This comparison is taken up and extended by the novel AGV system. The system comparison made here is intentionally kept simple and takes only a few parameters into account to provide a quick indication of the economic feasibility of the novel AGV system. For this purpose, the logistic space requirements of the respective concept and thus its annual space costs are determined. Furthermore, the annual cost for transportation equipment and logistic staff costs are used for the comparison. 
The results of the cost comparison are shown in the table on the right and show that both the milk run system and the box HV system prove to be advantages compared to the given manual operated logistics. The picture on the left shows an implementation variant of the intelligent floor into the existing production, which allows the operation of box AGVs and uses the previously mentioned advantages of the logistic concept. In this implementation variant, 145 square meters of the previously required logistic space has already been saved without separate studies being carried out to optimize the logistic routes based on the novel AGV system. If the additional advantages of the intelligent floor infrastructure platform, such as object detection or the possibility of wireless power transfer, were also considered from an economic point of view and included in the cost comparison of the logistic concept, the comparison would be much more in favor of the novel AGV system. On the now following last slide, I would like to summarize the presentation as follows. The convertibility of production is becoming more and more essential and ensures the competitiveness and future viability of a production company. The use of the intelligent floor in an industrial environment opens a wide range of applications, making our current manufacturing process more flexible and transparent. A contribution to the convertibility is made by the novel AGV concept, described in this presentation, which offers cost and space advantages over current logistics solutions. It reduces the material stock at the assembly stations by providing a demand-driven supply. Supermarkets can be downsized by chaotic warehousing or eliminated at all by shifting logistics to the traffic routes. This enables rapid changes in company internal logistics and thus a quick response to market-relevant developments. The close integration of production and logistics also makes manufacturing processes faster and more efficient than today. For example, it is not necessary to search for specific boxes because each box AGV can navigate to a defined point on command or the intelligent floor can show users the way to the box AGV via its LED display system. The box AGV can be used to save on personal costs or to assign logistic stuff to higher value tasks too. The promising possibilities of the presented logistic system will be put into practice step by step in the continuing research and development of the box AGV and intelligent floor. Furthermore, a consideration of the investment and operating costs based on specific use cases in both greenfield and brownfield applications is planned. This calculation consideration is particularly relevant for the economic success of the box HV and intelligent floor solution. However, due to the versatility of the intelligent floor, it cannot be reduced to a logistic application alone, but should always be understood as an infrastructural solution for the factories of the future. Thus, in addition to the management of goods flow through production, Further functionality such as the contactless power supply of production equipment can be realized. Thank you for listening to my presentation.